XY's fix. Here in this here, we have this 3D printer for repair. The story about this printer, the, the guy said he got it from Amazon as a routine non-working uh, printer. So the customer doesn't know nothing about it, like what's caused the printer to stop working. So when it's on, like now, you can see the light over there. Show nothing on the screen. Already the firmware on it on the SD card. So, like if I move this one, you can see the. Here, if I move it quick, you see the screen is flashing. And that's giving you idea that it's not a problem here. And this uh, motor, this motor here that's controlling. The highest, the height of this uh, this head. It just when we move this one up, the motor is come like a electric generator, and that uh, that power is go to the board and go to the backlight. So I guess there is a problem in the. In the power. So this is the board, the control board, that's the power supply, and look over there, that's 12 volt I think, 12 VE and 12 VB, it's just flashing, and there is a little clicking sound in the power supply. So I guess the problem must be here in the power supply. So let's check to see if we can fix it. So I disconnect this plug from the power uh, supply to the to the control board. And here we still have that flickering the green LED and that click inside. Here, like if I test between this, this is the part, the reds is positive, and this one is negative. If we test here, we have just like two volt. So I don't think that's enough to power uh, on this board. So there is two fuses over there. I'm going to check them first. Yeah, both fuses are good. Yeah, this is the power supply board for the 3D printer. And checking the fuse is good. Checking the rectify bridge. If there is any shirt, it's good. This diode. We have a jumper here and here. This means these two pins is connection together is good. This one, but from here is good. From here is good. I know this is a MOSFET. There is any shirt? No shirt. No shirt. But I see something. Look, it's this one here. Yep. This is not soldered at all. You can see it. It's just moving. Let me solder the first, that's one. Yep, 
Looks better now. Let's test it and see if we can get any power. So I just say plug the the power cord, the 110 volt power cord here. So be sure that you don't mix the the cords. And uh, so let me push the power supply. Already plugged. And here we have a solid green light. So let's uh, test the output voltage. That's a good uh, change. Because before it was just like. Uh, Alright, if I don't remember, it should be this one. Alright, here is 24 volt. You can see it. Because these are negative and positive, and here is 24. So that's good. Let me. Uh, Put it together and they show you if it's work or if it's need more repair. Don't forget to put this one between the these MOSFETs because the MOSFET shouldn't uh, touch the, the ground By the way, they are using uh, LED power supply. Uh, the output is uh, 24 volt. If you want to know about that, you can see it is a 15 amp. This is a really good, uh, strong power supply. So I put the power port in the place, so this is how you wire it. And uh, so, you can see, you put this one's brown, blue in the ground. Then skip one, and two for the negative, two for the positive, and skip one. So let me uh, push the power supply. You can see the red light, you can hear the fan, so now all the lights is on, and we have the display. So this one is fixed, and, uh, as you see that's the, the brand A20M, GEE Tech or something, I don't know, it's, it's a China model. Yeah, looks good. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you next one.